We're going to take a look at a simple set of footwork by Montrez, but really when we say simple, all we're talking about is the action itself. In order to pull this off and really understand the difference between this and other footwork, you really need to understand the details and the nuances of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put ourselves in the action where Montrez has the ball in the mid post. And really what he's going to do, he has a couple forward position jabs, but what he's going to do is he's going to start getting himself positioned hip towards the basket. And so if I was using the grip mat as a picture, he takes that inside foot and goes right into the circle, and that's where he's going to place his dribble down. Now this is where I want you to really understand the violence of this footwork. Because what Montrez is not going to do is what we'd call a hip rotation. A hip rotation would be your ability to go on one foot first, start to pivot, and then get into a drop. Or it could be my outside foot, which would clearly pull myself away from this space. What he's going to do is he's going to allow himself to fall right into his drop position by taking both feet and turning them all at once. So instead of doing a hip rotation off one foot, he's going to do what we call a hip switch off two feet. And so as soon as that foot's in the middle, even though this dribble is relatively relaxed, he's going to violently turn his body, which puts himself right in this exact position. And so by using the grip mat, I can hold myself accountable to my space. I can hold myself accountable to my width, make sure I'm setting up the exact same footwork of a play like this, and then of course drive the basket for any finish that you want. Obviously Montrez was an animal on this play. Obviously for you, you can finish in any way you possibly can in this moment in time. So after you get your foot to the middle, put the dribble down, violently switch your whole body around, that's your hip switch, and now you can attack right out of that. Now the beauty of hip switch footwork is it puts yourself in an aggressive position to drive right away. Where a normal drop would land back foot front, giving yourself a little bit more time, a hip switch just puts it right into the drive itself. And so when you want to accelerate immediately, a hip switch two feet at one time is a great way to quickly get there and take off for the play. What you do at the end of that play is completely up to you. Thanks for joining us with another episode on our MLXT YouTube channel. We're switching to a new topic now, getting into snapshots, which we've done in the past, but we're going to continue going in a completely different direction as we look at details of high-level players and how we can mimic little things like their footwork, their spacing, and their, their body control and accountability through ways that we hold ourselves accountable with training tools, with our footwork grip mat, and so on. And so really the most important thing about this as we study the high level aspects of the game is how we can break down those aspects. Now let's just take a look at a, at a grip mat. Now right now I don't have a grip mat. And so if I can do the footwork and I'm sort of understanding what I'm doing but I'm not completely understanding, I might be random and I might miss the boat on it. But the whole purpose of the grip mat is simply that when it's here, when my feet hit the spots, I know for sure that I'm doing it right. Now obviously later on, I should be able to do it on my own and be that confident. But the grip mat is a great visual aid, which we'll continue to look at at times as ways to hold ourselves accountable to footwork and why it's been so successful and why we even use it with NBA players and NBA all-stars along with kids because it's just that effective. But that's what I want you to look at. Now, coaches have used things like this forever. Coaches will tape areas on the floor. You've probably played with a coach who's marked areas of the floor with X's and lines. We're doing the exact same thing with the grip mat. So don't overcomplicate it. All it's there for is simple forms of accountability. The advantage of it is it's not tape. You can just simply move it from spot to spot. But if you don't have a grip mat, then what do you do? Use tape. Mark areas of the floor, work on your footwork, see how your footwork is hitting, and then of course see if you can do it without it later to make sure that you're holding yourself accountable to footwork just like this. If you like content like this and you want to see more, make sure you let us know in the comments. Of course, we always appreciate your likes. We really appreciate your subscribe. And of course, ring the notification bell so you don't miss the next week's video right here at this time on our MLXT YouTube channel.